Hello guys, this is the Epiphany. Literally, the Epiphany. It's been a very long time since I've recorded a video on my main character. And in today's video, I'm going to be changing up my composition a bit. Instead of using Osa, Algonac and Foganaut, I will now be using Osa, Masquerader and Echo Flip. So, the most challenging thing for me about this comp was that I had to learn how to play Masquerader. And luckily with the low rating fights, because it's the first couple of fights I've had of the season, they have been relatively easy. And I've managed to get 8 out of 8 wins and I am a bit more familiar with Masquerader. I guess the most annoying part of Masquerader was having to change masks depending on what spells you use and it, it kind of requires you to memorize what masks are required to use what spell and for example you know plastering which is the main shielding spell can't be used while you're in the psychopath mask and the psychopath mask is the mask that you need to be in to use your main damage spells so it's quite a challenge but I've gotten the hang of it I suppose there are still some minor mistakes that I've made. Uh, a fun fact was that I actually wanted to play Osa, Echo Flip and AP Reduction Fekka. But unfortunately my Fekka is on the same account as my Echo Flip. So I had no choice but to use a different character on Fracto's account. And luckily Fracto had a Masquerader on her account. So I'm using that for Colo. You know... It's not as strong as my old comp. Definitely, I reckon Osa, Algonac, and Fogonaut is a lot stronger than this comp, but both comps have their advantages and disadvantages. I've actually had one or two fights where if, if I had my old comp, I would have lost because of the amount of pressure that they put on us. You know, they literally rushed turn one. And this comp here, you know, very high damage in uh, medium to low range allowed me to out damaged them and ended up winning so it's pretty good uh, hopefully we get a fight soon as for my osa it is still the old rating that um you know ranks six on the ladder and 4700 rating 4758 it's you know it's a high rating and the fact that my echo flip and mask are at 3712 kind of balances out that so the fights we get probably people average around 4000 or 4100 rating so you know it's not too bad but it's also not too difficult so i'm happy about that okay we just got to fight conveniently while i'm talking so let's accept that fight okay any moment now Okay, we jumped in. Okay, we're facing a Panda Echo Flip and uh, Panda Echo Flip and Enaripsa. So at this rating, usually Enaripsas do not have AP reduction. Well, maybe they do, but I don't think they would have the Wukin Wu Kang set. So I would not be putting AP parry. I'm just using a standard set. Okay, let's put the mask here, Osa here. Like this, and we should be good to go. Hopefully I'm right. Uh, okay, what's this? Okay, they won the initiative. Hmm, Pathogastrix. I don't think that's the Wukin Wu Kang set, luckily. Yeah, I don't think it is. It's probably just a generic intelligence set. He won the initiative though. My average is 3186, which is pretty high, and he beat it, so. Hmm. 13 AP. Uh, I'm not sure what element the Echo Flip is, but. Pendawa has a plus 4 AP Prismaridite. This one here. So he's got 17 AP turn 1. I wonder what he's going to do with that. Okay, let's buff this up. Turn 1 routine. 
chances are I was probably going to try and kidnap the, uh, the masquerader or something. I don't know, but let's put this here. Oops, I wasn't meant to do that. Let's put that there. Sometimes I forget my shackles of tyranny, which uh, attracts. Okay, let's put this here. Okay, so with my echo flip, I've learned that um, having trickery in the third position or whatever is good because it allows me to kind of, you know, check regularly what element the trickery is. Okay, vulnerability through the wall. Okay, this is most likely going to be a comp that, you know, it could even be a full tank panda, although his HP is a bit low to be full tank. Okay. Put the waster there, did he? Let's see, angle this. Go here. Double erosion. Then pull pads. So that I'm over the waster that I can run. Give MP to my mask. Might be needed, who knows. Invisible, huh? Ooh. Disapprise, I think it's called. Makes the echo flip invisible on turn one. Okay, so in a fight like this, we're going to be careful because the next turn, the echo flip is going to have Volbus, going to have all his buffs. I'm going to predict about 17 AP, and the fact that the panda used vulnerability on us both is pretty lethal. So he's probably rushed in now. He's probably all the way up here somewhere. Uh, yeah, he had 13 MP on that first turn. It could be he could be somewhere up here right now. So okay, let's put a grimacing mask. Give MP to my Echo Flip. Summon skill so I can control the Grimacing Mask. And then Weapon Skill. Now with the Grimacing Mask, I will... Um, keep this Panda locked, I suppose. Force him to have to spend AP to release or whatever. Okay, so we have a ton of shields and my team is quite tanky. All I hope is that we survive the echo flip. I have seen this comp um, several times when I've been playing my old comp, but usually I have no problem like surviving the turn two because I have the, um, what's it called, the... Uh, you know, Bafiscape to give a ton of shields and my team alone is quite tanky, so I can out-sustain 6,000 damage quite easily. Okay. Let's continue on this panda. I did erode him. So, now let's run back here. Okay, I think that should be good. Let's kind of make a wall here so that the panda is hard to reach because I'm pretty sure that the panda is going to MP himself and is going to pick someone up and then throw us to the other side. It's going to make it as easy as possible for his echo flip to try and one shot. So we have to prevent that. I 
I still cannot predict what element this echo flip is, unfortunately. It's, it's a very strange set that he's wearing. Oh. That's odd. Perhaps it's, he could be trying to kill my echo flip, to be honest. Assuming that he is intelligence, which is the most um, common build, the most fragile person would have to be my echo flip has the lowest resist, so I'm going to repercussion myself just to be safe. After I rode him, of course. Okay, then repercussion. So essentially now I have 4,600 HP and 3,500 shields. That is uh, approximately 8,100 damage that he has to do. Ah, there he is. Oh, I should have went here actually, then it would have been a bit hard for him. Is he in though? Let's see. Yeah, he's in. Okay, 1,200 on Meowch. 1,200 again. Poor pad 716. Top catch. Catnip, catnip. And he's gonna run over here, I bet you. Okay. I think my egg flip's safe. Uh, yeah, he's safe. There's nothing much that to worry about at the moment. The echo flip can't reach him. Sorry, the inner ripser can't reach him. So I'll just go full damage on the panda now. Okay, stampede. Change mask. Okay, a trick that I've learned is to use the spell Ardor, which makes it unhealable. So now the... Ah, okay. If I end the Grimace uh, here, perhaps. It'll screw up the Annie a bit. So now the Annie cannot heal the Panda. And if the Panda does survive another turn, uh, the Echo Flip, you know, won't be able to heal using Yowling or whatever. So... Okay, he can't run around this way because he's locked from the Grimace still, so he has to come around on the right, yep. But he can't do much from there, so he's probably just going to... Wait, is he going to try a Uniting Word or... Uniting Word won't work because it's unhealable. Gave power and MP to the Echo Flip. Okay. Let's put this here. Let's power buff the toad, I think. Okay, let's just go hit. Uh, what's this? Muchas resist inter, muchos escudas, mapa en contra, así easy XD. Well, a lot of the time uh, I get memed quite a bit for having high resist, but this is a very clear example of why having high resist and shields, you know, kept me alive. So, in fact, a fun fact for you guys would be in the tournament uh, Echo Cup, I think it was around April. Um, the, the funny thing was, I played a set on my team that had like 40% resistance average. And we faced against an Eliotrope who went invisible, had a glass, glass cannon uh, agility set. It went invisible turn 1, then turn 2 was fully buffed by an Echo Flip. Had four, uh, 17 AP and everything. And he, he only managed to do like 3,000 damage to my Algodak because I had Watchdog, I had Max Sustain, and I had, um, I think it was 40-something uh, percent resistance of air. I can't remember, but it was a pretty funny thing, you know. They, people play auto-kill comps. They expect to be able to, you know, 
one turn someone, but then you know, I play high resist and then they can't one turn me and then they complain. So that's uh, generally what happens. Okay, Furia 635, let's use Inferno. Deactivate the Ivory and now the Axe. Pretty decent damage, I suppose. Change to the other mask so that next turn I can use Plastron. Vendo Danos, whatever that means. Oh, he's killing himself. Okay. Well, this was a pretty interesting fight. It's definitely a unique one, you know, having an invisible, uh, invisible Prismarodite, and then 17 AP on the second turn. Also had a panda who was literally using vulnerability through the walls and stuff. I think I played it smart though. The, the thing about this comp is that I don't need to rush because my Echo Flip can hit decently from uh, from range. I'm selling damage, whatever he's saying. I don't know. But my Echo Flip can hit decently from range, so there's no need to rush in this comp as opposed to my other comp that I always rush turn one. Sometimes that costs me actually, so. Yeah, it'll be good to upload this one to show, you know, the invisible protect, uh, r literally ridiculous. Yeah, my Echo Flip's damage is pretty decent, and usually I would check, you know, every hit to see the element of trickery, but in this case, it's, um, you know, it's not intelligence, or oh, this one is. So, basically, the that Echo has no damage. What is he talking about? So the Trickery 2 AP spell Intelligence hits that much damage, so uh, it's pretty good to check regularly. And he called me a noob. Okay. The thing about Trickery is that every hit that you make, it essentially changes the element of Trickery in the next turn, uh, in, in the next time you, you cast it, so it's good to check regularly what element it is. Of, of course, like, Depending on the element, it'll do more damage, but it's also the strongest for Earth, but then again, it costs 5 AP. The Intelligence one is 2 AP, and it hits like twice as much as Leak Pie. That's why it's uh, good to check. Okay, guys, um, thanks for watching this fight. I copped a bit of trash talk at the end there, but not like I care. Uh, it was a pretty easy win. You know, I had 8,000 uh, combined shield and HP for the Echo Flip to, to kill me in the second turn. He failed, so it's GG thing about one shot comps is that if they fail to one shot 90% of the time they lose you know because their their entire composition relies on one little thing and they fail so they lose it's similar to the panda any and iope combo where they try and you know buff the iope and stuff like that iope can't one shot it's over thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video